last May, I believe it was, uh, out in Flagstaff, we did attend the Overland Expo West. And there was a vendor that actually had a, uh, a trailer that was made from um, a Tacoma. I was with the chief engineer at the time, and he and I were chatting with, I said, you know, who better than to build a trailer than us? I mean, we have the resources, we have the capacity to do so, we have the knowledge. Uh, basically, that's kind of how it's sprung to life. Just kind of spitball and then kind of back of napkin sketches, let's come up with some ideas and we put it together. The first thing I look at when I see something like this is, Run it through the bandsaw and start from scratch. Let's make this sucker extreme as possible. I want to have a shower. I want to have a toilet. I want running water. I want a stove. I want a refrigerator freezer. I want propane. I want hot water, not just water. One thing I think everybody understands about SEMA when, when you've been there a few times is that it is about extremes. It is about over the top. It's in Vegas. Of course it's over the top. This trailer could be anything from a utility trailer all the way up to an overlanding trailer. We're back at our shop now on the Toyota campus. This is where the magic happens. The overland trailer itself is going to have that feel to it. It'll have scissors lift. It'll tow nice. You can see kind of the bicycles hanging off the back. With the overland experience, you want to be able to pull this trailer with just about any kind of vehicle. But I foresee it right now, Forerunner or Tacoma, I can show you some more stuff that, that will be going into the box. So here's, here's the generator. This will be inside one side of the box and it'll be on roller so it comes in and out. This is a really cool refrigerator freezer. You know, as you're driving out there, it will charge it, run it, get it cold. You're gonna wake up the next morning and it's still gonna be at 45 degrees. So it'll keep everything cold. And this is the, uh, sink and the cooktop. There'll be a, uh, a drain that comes out the bottom of that that'll drain back into the gray water. The beauty of it is you can have the comfort of say glamping, but at the same time you can just be packed up in 10 minutes and you can hit your next spot, whatever that spot ends up being, wherever your Tacoma or Forerunner will drag you to. About four days ago, we got the trailer back as a pile of painted parts and we've just been working diligently to try to get this thing put back together now. As of last night, actually, we started to see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. I'm really proud of the way the rear bumper is coming out. Your spare tire, gonna hold your jerry can, swings open, snaps into place, allowing enough clearance to be able to open the bed. We are truly at a 90% point now, so we're locked in place. We've got a two burner stove, a sink with running water. You know, the, it's the iceberg theory where you're just seeing the tip of the iceberg and man, that thing looks cool, but you don't know that there's just tons and tons beneath every single decision we make. Refrigerator freezer, all powered, not a nice chest. One more table between the, the powder coated frame and every panel, every piece, every slider, every mount. I would guess there's probably 150 separate pieces. Come over here, we get into our propane tank. Two different regulators coming off of it. One that'll run the hot water heater. Got your shower right there. Every step along the way, it's, it's having to make a decision on how far you want to take something. Our toilet, definite high class here. Really happy with the way the scissors lift worked. Push button, remote control, up it goes. It's moving the whole truck a little bit, right? Let's say you were parked underneath a tree. This allows you to bring it down, flip it out, get all your bedding, you know, get everything kind of situated and then put it at whatever height you want to put it. We took it to another level, which I think can compete with any kind of overland trailer on the market out there. And in my opinion, I think we have certain parts of this that can't be. Good.